Gentlemen, we are joined by Mike Cox, the Attorney General of the great state of Michigan. Uh, right. Mike, uh, what about you? Uh, tell me a little bit about your action and how you feel about the federal government telling people, individuals, look, you got to go out and you got to buy insurance. We know it's never been done before, but it's in the greater good. Well, you know, Steve, here in Michigan, I, I wish the president would go out and make everyone buy a Ford Motor Company product. <laughs> uh, but the reality is, as uh, as Bill and Ken pointed out, th this is an unprecedented grab by the president and Obama administration. Imagine if President Bush, the Republican House and, and Senate a couple of years ago, went out and made everyone buy 38 Smith and Wesson, or, or otherwise you'd be fined. Imagine the hue and outcry then. Uh, so clearly, this is a clear trampling on not only states' rights, but individual rights. Right. That's what we see happen in Arizona as well. Okay, speaking of Arizona, um, uh, Ken, uh, in Virginia, yesterday, you, you uh, had a, uh, uh, an opinion that said essentially that law enforcement yes. can ask the status of whether or not somebody who is stopped is in the country legally or illegally, right? That's correct, and honestly, this has uh, seen a quite explosive bit of attention, but as Bill and Mike could both tell you, this is pretty ordinary. Law enforcement has the ability to do this on an ordinary basis. Uh, citizens don't necessarily, in all circumstances, have to answer every question, but once there's been a legitimate stop, law enforcement has the ability to ask questions on subjects other than what the stop was related to, including immigration. So um, because of Arizona and Mike Cox's leadership uh, among our states in, in getting amicus brief in and doing it quickly, you did a great job on that, Mike. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, this has, you know, blossomed again as a public issue. And um, in Virginia, I'm getting a lot of inquiries from my legislators about sure. what we can do and what we can't. And that opinion was intended to clarify what law enforcement in Virginia can do today as of right now. Right. Uh, Mike, I know you feel that, um, that what, the, what Judge Bolton did down in Arizona last week where uh, put the injunction on portions right. of 1070, and it's, uh, Senate Bill 1070, that's just a slap in the face of uh, the sovereignty of the people of Arizona. Absolutely, and, and it's beyond my feelings. Uh, since 1984, the federal courts in Salinas versus Gordon said uh, that uh, police officers can use reasonable suspicion to do exactly what Arizona is mandating. So as Ken has pointed out, this is nothing different. This has been longstanding. What's different is Obama administration's dramatic stretch, overstretch, and use of the Constitution to attack state okay. sovereignty and individual liberty. All right, Bill McCollum, I'm going to give you the final word on this. Well, the final word is this. I joined General Cox. I joined him in that because I support the Arizona immigration law. And I really think it's sort of like if you've got somebody who's um, a police, let's say he's a postman, and he's on postal property, and a police officer, local cop, comes by and he sees him being attacked, he can go over there and make an arrest under federal law. There's, there's a real interesting right. issue here because President Obama's trying to usurp state right okay. powers. We have in police powers, and that's really wrong. Just like, by the way, that memo that's out there now that's really scary right. from Homeland exactly. Security right, about uh, immigration laws where they're trying to do immigration by the back door without okay. going through Congress. Obama's right. taking away okay. a lot of state powers here. A lot All right, of guys. failure. We're going to have to end it right there. Uh, great thank debate. You. We thank you very much.